there's two ways to do it. I can either use food to encourage him to move towards an object and then reinforce him with the food in my hand once he does that. Um, some dogs are a little prone to get dependent on the lure for everything. Um, and some dogs are prone to feel like you're teasing them. So um, another way we can do it is by reinforcing approximations. So I have the clicker to mark for him the behaviors that he does that I like. So I'm gonna reinforce him for not trying to steal pumpkin cans because that's not what I want right now. What I want is him to, to put two feet on to the box and he's already been practicing that behavior. So anytime he moves towards the box, I begin by reinforcing anything when he moves towards the box or looks at the box, like right there, his eyes went to it. And then because his two feet are on there, which I want, I might click and reinforce him a couple of times for that. And then I might reinforce him to get off of the box so that I can put him back on it. Because what I want is for there to be a cue that says, do this behavior. So this is fun for dogs that enjoy problem solving and you gotta get a little bit more energy out. It's a nice way to train with them. He's looking for easier options. So I made it too hard <laughs> is what that tells me. Plus Ash loves a cuddle. Hey Ash. Hi. Hello. Oh, look, I did not accident. Good job. And if he wants to keep adding all four feet, we could make that the actual behavior. Actually, that happens. We're just trying it out now with the butt. So we pause in between to see what behaviors he's going to offer because he's actually running this training session. I'm going to reinforce behavior that he does that I like but I'm not actually cueing him or asking him to do anything to make those behaviors happen. Right now he's looking for leftovers because he spit some out really good. And if he's not willing to participate in the training session, it could be that the training session is getting too complicated or that I'm asking too much or that he's getting kind of tired of it. So we'll go back to making it easier I'm just gonna go back to reinforcing him every time his feet touch the box. And this is basically teaching him, I can use this trick to teach him how to go to, go to a selected location, like a spot, or I can teach it as to teach him how to get up on something on cue, which might be helpful for like getting in the car or getting up on a grooming table or in a tub. So this method, we're using a hand target. So he already has a behavior, which is touch his nose to the palm of the hand. And this way, instead of Yona using food in front of his face, she's placing her hand in front of his face. She already knows to target it. So we're using a known behavior to teach a new behavior. You can see he's thinking it through. Nice. Some dogs are going to be more confident putting their feet on things. Other dogs will be. This is a moving object, so this is not necessarily beginner level. Because Ash is comfortable with moving objects underneath his feet. But if you're working with a really timid dog, we don't recommend you start with anything mobile. Start with something low to the ground to help build their confidence and then they'll be more ready to explore with higher objects or objects with a funny texture as they get more comfortable. doesn't get the behavior right away we're just pausing giving him time to think about it and then we may reset and offer it again 
but there's no punishment when he doesn't get it or if he needs a longer amount of time. He's allowed to take breaks and get distracted. Ash enjoys a good cuddle, so if he needs a cuddle break, he can do that. And then he can engage for training when he's ready. Thank you. 